Okay, now in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to actually make your sales forecast. This is really, 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 really important. And um, there's a certain amount of art to it, but I'm going to show you some mechanical ways of doing it. We're going to focus in on product able. You'll have to do this for every single product, but for product able, we need to figure out what our sales forecast is going to be. So to do that, we're going to consult the spreadsheet that I created again. And if you go here where it says marketing sales forecast, when I click on that, Okay, what I have to do is I have to figure out what the total market demand is for a specific segment. And then what I have to do is estimate how much market share I'm going to, to uh, capture from that segment uh, next round. And then that'll tell me what my sales forecast is right here. Okay, so I'm going to take the last the segment demand and for product able, which is in the traditional. Its growth rate, I'm going to find that for the career report. And I'm going to use this formula right here to determine what the total segment demand is. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what my estimated market share is from next round and then that's going to give me what my sales forecast will be for this product. Okay, So this is for product able. You've got to do this for every single product that you um, that you have in your portfolio. So that's why it's good to have a team to help you do all those calculations. So what we do here is we go to last year's segment demand. We've got to get that from the courier report because product able is in the traditional market or traditional segment. So we go here and we go to reports and we go to traditional segment. And we see that the total demand for the traditional segment is was 773.87. So that's how much in total customers demand, regardless of who they get it from. But that number again, I'm going to look it up just to make sure. Traditional 7387. So that is the figure that I put in my spreadsheet, 7387. And then my growth rate, I have to also get it from the same report. And for the traditional segment, the growth rate is 9.2% and you type that in as 0.092 not 9 not 9.2 0.092 if i can change that to a percentage that might be better okay so that means the total segment demand in units is going to be 8067 units approximately i have to figure out how much of that pie i'm going to get with my own product able and i'm just going to assume that it's the amount that i got last time in that segment and the way you do that is you go into the capstone courier again and scroll down to page 10 right here this is called the market share report and you there's two actual market share and potential market share you always want to use the potential market share to estimate what your performing market share will be in the future that's because your potential is how much you could sell could have sold if you had made enough and uh, sometimes you don't make enough in production. We get to production decisions in order to, to, um, you know, to reach your potential. But that's what you should be basing your sales forecast off is your potential. Okay. And if we look, product able in the traditional segment is 13%, and then there's some sundry sales made in other segments as well. Um, another 13 and a half, 14 and a half, 15.2. If I add up all the sales of able then I get a figure of about 13.5, 13.6, 14.6, 14.8 I think is what when I add all this up is what my potential was. I'm going to assume that it's going to be the same next time around. Okay, So I think I said 14.8 so I'm going to go 0 0.148 and I'm going to change that into a percentage as well. So that means that's how many units I expect to sell of product able next round. And I'll round that up to 1194. So let me go into the here and we'll go 1194. And then I've successfully, and then I recalculate. And that shows that I'm going to be generating a fairly healthy contribution margin off this product, assuming that those sales materialize. Okay, and that's how you do a sales forecast. And you have to do that now for every single product that you have in your portfolio, looking at the various metrics that I've given using the spreadsheet and recalculating to come up with what your sales forecast is.